Last week, we spoke about how some laboratory-grown diamonds can get misleading results on diamond testers. Shall we talk about why this is happening? I think we should. The way that diamond testers work is based on the science that diamonds are excellent conductors of heat and all simulants except synthetic mosinite are not. So the initial thermal test performed by either a thermal probe or a multi-tester will separate all stones from diamond and synthetic mosinite. Then an electrical conductance test will separate these two stones. So colourless diamonds are electrical insulators and synthetic mosinite a conductor. So bada bing, we could easily separate these stones. So what is wrong with these testers today? Nothing. The testers are working perfectly. The technology of the testers has not changed. The man-made stones have changed. In regards to the new synthetic mosinites, the method of creating them has evolved and we're creating ones that are now less electrically conductive. So they get the same result as diamond. And for HPHT laboratory grown diamonds, some contain boron. And if there's enough boron, this will increase their electrical conductivity, meaning that they gain the result for synthetic mosinite. How many of those are out there? I've got no idea. Uh, there's lots, billions, especially as they produce over 99% of the laboratory grown diamond melee through that method. So there could be a lot of them around. You may wonder whether there's any point to diamond testers anymore. And yes, there is. Uh, they're still handy for separating out all other simulants, except synthetic mosinite. So we can separate all those out and then just focus on figuring out which one we have, diamond or synthetic mosinite. I recommend observation. There are also some new diamond testers on the market. Some of them can detect these low conductivity synthetic mosinite. Laboratory grown diamonds are still an issue, but at least that's one thing that you don't have to worry about. And one could use another tester, such as the Airy by Presidium. I've got a video on this equipment as well. This can separate diamond, laboratory grown diamond and synthetic mosinite. However, there are limitations with this equipment, check out the video just to find out all about this piece of kit. <laughs> That's it from me. If you work with diamonds, subscribe to this YouTube channel as I'll be here for you on Tuesdays. Do follow my Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this video by the Gem Academy. Feel free to start a chat below and I'll see you next week for more. Subscribe and I'll see you soon. Diamond multi-testers work on a very simple basis. They are designed for testing colourless stones only, which incorporates colourless to tinted stones. So when I say colourless, I do mean this range that's very typical for diamond, D to Z. Maybe not Z. D to P, but who says that? <laughs>